G'day Crows fans. Big round one clash this week. It's we've been waiting for this moment the whole preseason. It's been the longest preseason of all time. Boys are up and about. I'm up and about. Admin staff are up and about. We're all looking forward to this week. I'm going to catch up with a few players to ask them about how they go about their football before round one. Ask them a few stories about some things that have happened over pre-season that have been funny and, and, and extremely hard. So, um, yeah, look forward to uh, you guys having a watch and, yeah. Dougie, we've seen a few uh, weird hairstyles and a few weird beards and, you know, a few interesting things over pre-season. What's been your favourite, like, from someone who's come back over the Christmas break, you know, with a different haircut or, um, you know, a different shade of haircut? Have you seen anything like this that this pre-season? Oh, gee, that's... Uh, there's always a few funny haircuts. paddy has got the slick back on at the moment. Um, Sloney had the really long blonde locks, but he's now got the bob cut, so he's really cut that back. I'm not sure what Danger's doing with that slick back. He's, you touch it, and I swear, if you touch it from the back, you'll cut your finger. He's got that much gel in it. What have you seen that's really disappointed you? Yeah, there's there's two favourites here for worst on. I reckon Danger's long hair uh, has been shocking. Absolutely. Uh, slick back long hair just does not suit him. And then uh, Smitty's beard as well. I reckon he's trying to copy Chris Judd, so we know Smitty loves Chris Judd, and Chris Judd's got a beard. So now Smitty's got one which seems uh, a bit similar, so they're the two worst on. There's been some suspect haircuts. Uh, Name them. The Doss has gone real short, the little gnome. Sammy Siggins has had, he's... Always runs a crook hairdo. Always runs a crook hairdo. Um, Charlie Cameron. There's just been some stinkers, yeah. I think uh, you can't go past Jack Osborne. And he's, he's, uh, yeah. he's got Mario and uh, some other Pokemon or something tattooed on the inside of his ankle, so uh, he had a bit added to that. Young Mitch McGovern um, <laughs> likes to think he can tattoo himself. He's got a few <laughs> on his bottom of his feet, um, which he's not too proud of, so interesting stuff. Your last weekend off, we had a three-day break. Uh, apparently, you were seen uh, in the 72 hours that we had our break. You were, for 40 of them, you were at the uh, Port Elliot Bakery. Any truth to that? Yeah, mate, I actually ran into a bloke called Matt Yench, so uh, that's probably why you saw me there, mate. Now, I saw a couple of pies and donuts in your hand as well, so we're meant to be going through a nutrition review, and Yench is in the fat club, and I've seen him at the bakery, so I'm probably allowed to be there, but I don't think he is. <laughs> Yeah, took the lovely up to the Flinders Rangers and um, just thought I'd get away and turn the phone off for a few days and get away from all your rubbish texts. And you, might, you might actually uh, need to get that phone on, mate. I heard there was a the car got stuck a few times. You might have to call the RAA. Yeah, I'm getting to that if you let me finish, mate. But um, obviously took the sedan out to the Flinders and probably wasn't quite up to standard. The Hulk, you needed the uh, four-wheel drive, so managed to get the car bogged a couple of times. I wish... I could say that I relaxed for three days and did nothing and all went away with like you do, you know. Most of the boys went away. I know you took your lovely girlfriend away and wined and dined her for three days up in the Barossa, which was nice here. But um, unfortunately, coming off a hammy that I've had, I had to train Saturday and Sunday. So I ran my training, I spent time with the kids, um, but it would have been nice to relax like you did. Actually, did you pop the question in the end? You did talk about it. But what happened there? Did you go through with it? We can cut this, can't we? You can cut this. Here with our uh, head trainer, uh, Vincent Del Bono, one of the great men behind the scenes at Adelaide Footy Club, looks after the boys uh, uh, with all his uh, might and power during the year. Easter this year, obviously it's a bit different. Um, you'll be at a game of footy pretty much most of the day, so um, what is that sort of going to look like uh, later on the night, uh, you know, at home with the Del Bonos? Is um, going to be a bit of a hunt in the morning? Is there enough time for that, or, or, or what's the go? Uh, there'll be enough time for, for Easter egg hunts in the morning. My uh, wife's already told me that we'll be doing that. So uh, I can't leave a little bit early like I usually do. And you would never disagree with her, Vinny, uh, would you? Correct, coming from an Italian and ethnic background. That's <laughs> right, you know that. Um, the other thing is, uh, it's the first time we've probably played, I think, uh, in Adelaide on Easter as well, which has been good, not being on the road. Yeah, always an exciting time of year for me, being a father. Uh, enjoy watching the kids run around looking for Easter eggs on the Sunday morning. And then off to the footy, last two years in a row, which would be nice. But... Um, yeah, it is enjoyable watching the kids find chocolate and generally helping them eat it. Um, we used to go to the river every Easter, so it used to be a family tradition, but then obviously footy made it pretty difficult. But um, now all the family come down to the game on Sunday and um, that's how they'll spend their Easter Sunday and probably catch up with family Saturday. Yeah, I'll do the right thing by the missus. I'll probably go down to Hague's, uh, which is around the corner, and get her some Hague's. And I'm hoping she gets me something as well. Um, and the question the fans want to know, is there chocolate consumed before the game or is it mainly just an after thing? 
Uh, probably not before the game. Maybe the night before I might uh, have a little bit of a... Just tuck into a few chalky eggs or, or chalk almonds as we like to demolish down at the club here. We do enjoy that. Uh, maybe a couple of Easter bunnies. Um, the dairy milk's my favourite. Yeah, look, chocolate's my weakness, so I wouldn't be surprised in myself if I did tuck into just a few before the game. Yep. That won't hurt, will it? Nah, nah, he'll be right. I think he'll be okay. Work it off. Yeah, just get yourself an extra 10 or 15 kicks, <laughs> that'll, that'll work.